Hello and welcome back to Aubrey Books and Coffee. Please grab your favorite beverage of choice and join me. Today we're going to unbox the goodies that we got for the Halloween Once Upon a Book Club pick for Spooky, which was Hemlock Island by Kelly Armstrong. So I'm excited to read this. I'm excited to open up the goodies and I'm excited to talk about it a little bit. So I had got to page 15 in Hemlock Island by Kelly Armstrong and um, it's, I mean, it's only like page 15, so, um, but so far it's got a woman who's got a piece of property on an island and uh, she's having to deal with the renters and destruction of property and strange things showing up in the renters' um, closets. So she went to investigate. And on the page I am on, it talks about she's got her ward with her that she's taking care of. And basically, there's a comparison of their shoes going on where the uh, little gift is. And so I don't think they gave us tennis shoes, though, because it's awful small, if that's the case. Okay, it's the laces, the shoelaces that go inside of the tennis shoes and it does look like little uh, skulls and little spiders and all kinds of creepy things. Um, I'll probably let that be up for grabs, <laughs> but yeah, uh, so far it's cute. I'll let you know more when I know more. Okay, I'm now on page 53. And it's gotten significantly scarier because now she's finding some crazy stuff herself. She's gone to the island to kind of see what's going on. The renters left because they're like, it isn't worth it. This place is a mess. We want a refund. And she goes there and she's starting to see some really crazy stuff like where the uh, little mark is. It talks about blood on the pillow and a chunk of scalp attached. Oh <laughs> my. I'm really hoping they didn't give us a body part. I don't want a scalp. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's definitely picking up and uh, getting scarier now. So, oh, my gosh. I think they're uh, like pillowcases. How cute is that? I think that's what they are. I think they're pillowcases. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's cute. So yeah, so far really enjoying it. It's got me nervous. It's uh, got me a little spooked and it is fabulous. Okay, so now I'm on page 92. <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting scared. <laughs> like I'm not even halfway through, but I'm starting to get scared. Um, there's stuff happening. I mean, she's not even there by herself. She's got friends with her and stuff and there's, there'll be stuff happening. Um, I actually have a theory that I think I know who's doing this stuff already. I wonder if I'm right. Anyway, on the page where we have our little tag, it talks about using a battery operated lantern. I am betting that is what this is going to be. And can we just talk about the packaging? How stinking cute is that? I mean, it's skulls, so cute is relative. But I love it for Halloween. So I'm going to attempt to open this. Uh, but yeah, I am really enjoying the book so far. And I don't know. I, it may be a four star. I don't know I would ever reread anything. <laughs> That's a horror. Ooh. Okay, it is in fact a lantern. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited to continue and I'll let you guys know, obviously. And so far, these gifts are just amazing. Okay. 
So I got to page 145 in the book and it's talking about um, Kit finding a piece of fiberglass with looping script on it and a single word written, wicked. And so I'm gonna be <laughs> attempting to open this one-handed. Um, it's getting spooky, you guys. I don't even know what's going on now. Like, I had so many theories and something will happen that makes me go, oh, I was way off. And then something else happens and I'm like, okay, well that goes back to my original theory. <laughs> so now I'm just really confused, but in a good way, in a very fun and good way. Um, and I'm betting glass shipping is a mistake. And so instead of glass, pardon me, <laughs> there we go. Instead of glass, we've got kind of like a tin. How cute is that? It's like a very giant license plate. <laughs> you can hang this on the wall. That is so cute. Something wicked this way comes. It'll be up for grabs though. Um, I don't, I don't know if nobody claims it, I may keep it as a Halloween decoration, but yeah, for now it'll be up for grabs in case you like that and you know where it would go perfectly in your house. Um, but yeah, it, it's good. It's really good. It's scary, but in the best way. And I am loving the story. So on page 182, um, it's not a gift. We've opened all the gifts, but there's a little code. And when I scanned it, um, this is at a spooky part where she's hearing some whispering and it has very little spooky background noise and whispers, not yours. <laughs> um, it's cute. I mean, it, it took so much to scan it, get there, get it to play. Wasn't sure what to expect, so I had to replay it to even understand what was going on. But I love the concept. I really do. So those were some fun gifts, the spooky little, you know, laces for your shoes, the spooky pillow covers, the battery operated lantern that you could use for camping or going and checking out what your friends are doing out there because they've been gone an awful long time. Um, the wicked sign, which was super cute for decorating. And of course, even the little QR code that we got that gave us that spooky sound effect. All really good stuff. So overall, it's fit perfectly with the story. And they're all useful items. Most of them are going to be available for you guys, but that doesn't mean they're not fantastic. So I give the gifts a four stars, a nice, good job, guys. You did good. You're doing great matching them up, at least in my opinion. And for the book itself, I give it a three star. It was a good spooky read. Um, kind of some of the stuff was predictable. You kind of saw it coming. Some of the stuff not. Um, it was chilling. It was a quick read. Um, I liked it. I thought it was really good overall. So three stars for that. Good job, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and quickly open up our little goodie packet here. I love when I remember <laughs> to share these with you. And so if you choose this on our next drawing, you will also get a spooky bookmark and you'll get a signature plate from the author and you'll get an art print that has a letter from the author on the back all those goodies everybody for tuning in gets to have a sneak peek at the fun little spooky word search here. So good luck. And we got a conversation with Kelly Armstrong and some fun discussion questions. So yeah, overall, it was a cute box. I'm really glad that I went ahead and sprung for the little extra box. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do for us for New Year's. Please like, subscribe, send your friends, and I'll see you next time.